Hi, this is Mario Andretti, and this is Speed City. Welcome back to the fastest hour in radio, Speed City. Okay. Hey, right. I have a clip that I snagged off of the YouTube website of Red Bull, and it's just a little clip from uh, Christian Horner talking about the Oracle sponsorship, and uh, I want to play that now. Is Oracle stepping up to become title partner, so it'll become Oracle Red Bull Racing, um, which is tremendously exciting because we get to utilize the suite of tools and specialist services that you know, Oracle have. They're going to help us track side. It's going to help us, you know, with our uh, fan engagement program. Um, it's going to help us, you know, with all, all aspects of what we do. And, and of course, the new powertrains, you know, business as well. So uh, we're delighted with this partnership and really excited for what it brings, particularly for the fans and the experience we'll be able to offer. Well, data is our, our lifeblood. So, you know, technically being able to tap into all the tools that Ariel's just mentioned, you know, is of tremendous value for us as uh, we're a data hungry you know business but also for our fans to be able to provide you know a better platform going to be you know fantastic for us and something we're really looking forward to you know what i want to hear from are uh, the local management of oracle to see is there going to be f1 business being done in the any of the local facilities i think well, that would be cool to know yeah which of our f1 geeks you, well they're all, are it's here. all it's all virtual vaporware anyway so right. they could say yeah we've got those ones and zeros here in austin vaporware where can you buy that <laughs> I, I saw a shop I on fancy, the corner. Yeah, yeah. I fancy pair. I can go jogging in my vaporware, can't I? <laughs> Not if, if you're an eye shot of me. Okay. <laughs> Please. Right. Um, I'll tell you what I do find interesting about Oracle, Cisco, you name it. Um, Dell. Like Dell. Is that they're now, I mean, we all keep going back to Drive to Survive as being the reason. But it's more than that. Because you know I'm a TV hand. I'll watch TV all day long, every day. And I'd watch the adverts, too, from a business point of view. And now there are, I mean, Cisco especially, they are making a big play. They're, they're, they're rolling out a lot of um, uh, advertising on Formula One and McLaren. And they've actually got Lando and Ricardo and Zach Brown in the ads themselves, a bit like CrowdStrike with, did with Hamilton. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the fact that these are more mainstream than, than the Netflix series because you have to choose to go to Netflix and decide you want to watch it adverts just come at you when you're watching cartoons or something you know what i mean so yeah. to see i guess what i'm getting at to see formula one doing mainstream ads about formula one and about the use of data in formula one huge i have a theory on that and i'm sure you guys thought the exact same thing so oracle's headquartered here in austin <laughs> bill ricker he's watching on youtube and he said evil prince larry i forgot larry's name he's a ceo of oracle Ellison. Oh, Larry Ellison, yeah. And uh, I was just thinking that Larry Ellison was sitting in the ivory tower over at Oracle and and saw the 400,000 people and the uh, that came to Austin to yeah. watch the yeah, Formula yeah. One race and the ESPN ratings that have skyrocketed that, what was it, like 1.1 1 .1 or 1 1.2 that watched the race here in Austin and going, wait a minute, we want some of that action. Yeah. You know, that's that I, could easily have been yeah. that. How long will it, I mean, if Miami have just got a nine-year deal to do crypto, Dot com. How long is it before we see the Oracle, Stroke, Dell, whatever? I mean, I know all of them have been involved, but actually become title sponsors of our event here in Austin. Here in Austin. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, you know, with that whole property exchange, I haven't looked into the details recently, but, uh, you know, there was a big property, property? Huh? property oh. exchange here in Austin between, I think it was the uh, county and Oracle and oh. the site that was known as Driveway Austin, the, the racing academy yeah. here. Curious if uh, if that means that potentially the racing academy may continue to exist in in some form. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, that property was mostly nah, it's developed. I guess. Well, no, it's mostly um, below the floodplain. Right. So there's you know the only land that was worth anything was where the racetrack was on yeah. the upper part. Yeah. And if so, they're going to build, they're going to build on. Unfortunately, yeah, they they're going to build. Well, on in fact, great idea. It, though. But yeah. it had flooded before. Uh, in speaking to the Dollahite family, the entire track was under surface at the back end only the very top seven tenths loop uh city loop stayed dry yeah yeah that, so, uh, that upper part yeah you could always keep the karting track in business wink wink nudge nudge mr mm, yeah. ellison yeah <laughs> uh but yeah technology and formula one have always in the last few years anyway um been to, a great partner to so. be honest it excites me sometimes more than than the technology i mean and the technology in the cars is always exciting but the fact that these tech companies are now exposing how 
espionage, stroke, ransomware, stroke, how they store data, how they get it immediately, and how they can... I mean, one of the things that really blew my mind is the way that data is used. You can have a guy at the factory, a reserve guy, on the simulator and say, oh, my word, there's a storm coming. We think it's going to hit about 10 a.m. What does it look like with, you know, uh, this much rain at 10 a.m. to 10.45? Let's simulate it. And they can work out the setup of the car in England and send it over to Japan for overnight. Mm -hmm. And it'll be sitting there on their servers. Here's your setup for today. Yeah, here's your new plan. Yeah. Yep. Nice. <laughs> well, and I'm, I'm anxious to see, like I said, if any of those jobs materialize stateside or, you know, even as a backup. I really think they're going to wind up staying over in UK, yeah, to yeah. be honest. It is. You're right, though. It, it, it's worth those sorts of questions are worth asking because any us with uh, Mercedes, you know, we, we haven't heard the extent of where Oracle, you know, m you know, have uh, their title sponsors. And to be the title sponsor of Red Bull is quite something, given that Red Bull is Red Bull, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And in other words, they've never really gone that route. They've always wanted to be seen as the Red Bull car with other sponsors. I mean, you know that Nissan. Uh, sponsored them for a long time, but you never saw it. Aston Martin, likewise, uh, was on the car, but you, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't the, the yeah. you know, the the traditional title sponsor where they right. own the colors, they own yeah. everything. And it'll yeah, be right. interesting to see just how much influence Oracle has as a new title partner. Yep. Uh, well